What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about a game that actually was really, really good. One that I enjoyed. I just felt like not enough people played it. And I think that if more people played it, they probably would feel the same way that I did. I'm talking about, of course, Mirror's Edge. The game came out in 2008. And I actually bought it on my PlayStation 3. Took it home. I went to Target, bought it. That was back when men went into the men's room. And uh, I took it home and I played it. And uh, over the next two days... I beat it and I really, really enjoyed it. A friend of mine uh, stayed over with me and we took turns, uh, you know, playing the game with faith and really delving deep into the story and the lore. And the thing that I think this game really nailed was tone. The world felt so different. It felt so dystopian. The future was so Orwellian. Uh, and it, they just nailed that. It just felt like a very sterile place that lacked any empathy. And it, it felt like you were on the right side of, of justice, but in this dystopian future, justice was outlawed, and uh, they really nailed the tone. That's why I'm really excited about playing Mirror's Edge Catalyst. I didn't get in on the beta, but I'm definitely going to buy it uh, the day that it comes out. I'm just, I'm a huge fan of Faith. I thought she was an awesome looking character. I think that uh, the world they built around her was incredible as well. But very seldom do I play a video game in which I feel that that story or that world can uh, actually benefit from other forms of storytelling. And uh, Usually when you see any form of video game get turned into film or television, it usually does really bad. But I think that if they do this right, the Mirror's Edge television show could really be awesome. I'll drop a link in the description. Mirror's Edge video game to be adapted as a TV series. Good news video game fans, Endemol Shine Studios has nabbed the rights to adapt EA's action-adventure video game Mirror's Edge as a female-centered action TV series. Developed by EA DICE and published by Electronic Arts back in 2008, Mirror's Edge is set in a quasi-futuristic dystopian society where a network of runners act as underground couriers to transmit messages all the while evading government surveillance. One such runner is Faith Connors, the game's main character and heroine. When her sister is framed for murder, the game follows Faith, who's also a skilled warrior by the way, as she tries to clear her sister's name, all the while being drawn into a conspiracy that could bring down society itself. It involves a powerful organization called the Conglomerate, which rules the City of Glass. Here's what Saren Hall, president of Endemol Shine Studios, had to say about getting the rights to Mirror's Edge. Quote, we clearly see Mirror's Edge as a franchise for the global TV audience. It has a strong female protagonist, a wildly rabid fan base, and a worldwide brand that Electronic Arts and EA DICE have done an amazing job establishing." End quote. Offering a unique first-person gameplay mechanic, the video game was generally a hit with critics and fans alike and has now been semi-rebooted with the upcoming Mirror's Edge Catalyst a cross between a reboot and a prequel. The new game relaunches the franchise by exploring Faith's origin story as she attempts to overthrow the conglomerate. The new game will be released for Xbox One, PS4, and Origin PC on June 7th. Are you looking forward to Mirror's Edge becoming a TV series? Who would you like to see in the role of Faith Connors? Uh, just someone I don't know. I'm tired of seeing the same uh, Lucy Liu types on television. That would take me completely out of it. Uh, believe it or not, the character of Faith looks very realistic. I'm sure that there are plenty of Asian actresses who could pull off this role. As long as they capture the atmosphere in the right frame. I think that uh, this story, this world can really be investigated further. Uh, I think that there can be other protagonists. I think that, you know, getting Faith together with other runners that we haven't seen in the game, fleshing out their stories, will be pretty interesting. I'm not really a huge TV show kind of guy. I'm not like a big Arrow fan or Flash fan. Even though I did watch season one of The Flash and it was pretty cool. I like this not to have that superhero type of air. I want this to feel like people can die. If they can uh, establish a world similar to like The Walking Dead where you could be a runner and you could be on the show for you know a whole season or half of a season and just get taken out randomly, fall off of a building. I want to see the way that they're going to frame this. I don't want to see runners running on the street. If they're going to turn Mirror's Edge into a TV show, these people need to be running in very uh, dangerous places on top of buildings, running across skyscrapers and things like that to kind of capture the, uh, the aura and the atmosphere of the game. I really enjoyed this game. I think I'm going to have a blast with Mirror's Edge Catalyst. I can't wait to play it. I, I think that having it kind of be a prequel and a sequel at the same time is going to really scratch that itch that longtime Mirror's Edge fans have had for many, many years, including myself. You guys let me know in the comments what you think about Mirror's Edge becoming a TV show. It's definitely going to happen. But I want to know what other games have you played that you think would translate well to the big screen? Which ones? Let me know in the comments. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe now.
I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.